Hello. We're going to review today uh, how to fix the auto button being grayed out when connected to a rate controller on a Gen 4 display. So you can see that uh, the work button uh, on our shortcut bar here on the Gen 4 is grayed out, uh, does not allow us to toggle it on or off, and um, it won't change when we meet all the requirements to apply product with our Green Star Rate Controller. Uh, those requirements are um, machine speed, implement down, uh, master switch on, and flow through the system. So first off, we're gonna go check our rate controller and make sure that everything is set up for it. So um, real quick, I'm gonna look at the setup here and just verify that everything is filled out on this page. Looks like we've got our name, our profile, implement width. Uh, on the next page, our system uh, tab, we've got our section valve setup standard, control valve calibration in there, our flow meter values in there. Um, everything looks good on this page. Got some alarms checked and unchecked. That's fine, nothing's critical to making the system work on this page. And then our rates, we have some rates in there. Um, so we need at least one for it to work. Everything looks good there. So I would say that our rate controller is officially set up. Um, there's nothing that we're missing on the setup in order to make this rate controller work with your Gen 4. So next we're gonna look at um, the actual setup of the Gen 4. So if we go into the soft key uh, shortcut bar here for setup, we can see that we've got no implement detected or showing up. Uh, we don't have an implement in this scenario, but we do have our rate controller. So we're gonna select on our equipment here, and it shows our rate controller that we called two by two, shows it showing up right here, um, but it's got an exclamation mark because it's not assigned to any implement that we have in our system currently. So we'll go ahead and click add implement. And then we have our list of implements that are set up on this display. We're gonna select our planter since that's what uh, the two by two is gonna be used on. We'll hit okay. And we'll start new work with this. So now you can see that the planter is linked, uh, or the rate controller, pardon me, is linked to the planter with this little indent L looking uh, symbol here. So you can see that uh, the two by two rate controller is underneath the planter, meaning that it's linked. If we go to the planter setup, um, we can see that the controller that is associated to that planter because it's a virtual implement is gonna be selected as rate controller. If we selected none here, uh, then it would, try, it would disassociate the rate controller uh, from it. And we're gonna look through and just briefly look over the rest of this profile. Uh, cart, no, we don't have a cart on here. Our dimensions, center rotations 10 feet back, the lateral offset is zero. Those all look good, we've got no rear connection. Uh, the connection type is a drawbar, that's all good. And then if we go into our two by two, just to verify those settings, uh, you can see that it is uh, connected to that planter, it's associated to that planter profile we just set up. Um, the serial number is showing up here from the Green Star rate controller, the name is showing up from the rate controller, as well as that working width. Uh, work point is also 10 feet back uh, and then the mechanical delay on off all looks good. So we'll hit save on there, hit okay. And then you can see that we've got our planter here under equipment and now our work setup information is showing on the right side here. Uh, we've got a single product um, system. It's listed as manure right now. We'll put down a different product with this. Um, we will call it uh, fertilizer. Product name, we'll just add a nitrogen product. All right. So now our generation four displays uh, work setup is completely set up to for the Green Star rate controller. So we'll hit okay here and we'll see back on this main page that our auto button is now great. Um, it's, it's back the same color as the rest, but it's actually in auto mode, so we still can't toggle it on and off by ourselves. Uh, but it does show that it's auto mode, which means that uh, once the green star rate controller meets all of its requirements to apply, it will automatically turn to green and start applying. Thank you.